I just hit start record just now and then I immediately realized I forgot to check my mic sensitivity since it's been having that issue. Okay, it hasn't went up yet. Okay, good. What a start. Am I right? Am I right? What a start. Anyway, how are you, how are you guys? <laughs> We're on the... There's only three episodes after this. I believe. Yeah. <laughs> we are about to experience a challenge. A challenge like no other. We have did a lot of hours, a lot of episodes, and we're currently at 16 blood moons in and 220 deaths. This game ain't no joke. <laughs> I don't think I ever came close to that even in my insanity runs of Mass Effect. I don't think I ever came close to that. But we're here. We are here. These trials are kind of hard because of the lack of Master Sword and Barbarian Armor for one, but... You just gotta learn how to do it. Yeah, I hate that stupid ability, it's annoying as hell. God, I hate Thunderblight so much, especially without the Barbarian Armor and Master Sword. Like, I know I said that a second ago, but just Jesus. Especially on Master Mode where he heals. It's just so annoying. Thankfully, with some practice, Thunderblight can get easier when you just practice, you know, the timing, which is easier said than done sometimes, but... Did it too late, unfortunate. <laughs> well, we got it that time, thankfully. Yeah. I think when you get to stage two, I think you probably want to rely more on shield parries, because flurry rushing, I feel like, is way hard. I, I'm very heavily reliant on flurry rushes. That's my biggest issue with combat. Like, this game really does make you feel like an utter badass. Like, when you get, like, when you start getting your timing down for everything, you just feel so cool.
Yeah, yeah. Dude, Mephis Grace, I tell you, Mephis Grace, single best ability in the entire game, I swear, it changed my mind. Well, that and Durg's Protection, those two together, like, if you know how to use them and if you're fairly good at combat, like, that stuff is such a safety net for fights like this where you start struggling and panicking it. Honestly. God, I hate that, like, just flurry that he does. It's just so hard to, to beat, it feels like. I can never get that down. Yeah, I, I completely forgot that I could do Urbosa's Fury, like... And I was an idiot there and I forgot that I used it all already. But I managed to do a really nice flurry rush, which is very surprising. Like, forgive my lack of commentary, I'm just kind of a... I'm, I'm judging myself at the moment, you know? Like... <laughs> yeah! We did it! I just realized you guys could probably hear me eating my blizzard. I'm sorry. Good old Cass. Right there, that fade to white, and now we're back at Cass. I, there was a, a memory that I skipped, and you'll see why. You'll see why later in the series. I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that on. Capable hands. Yes, indeed. And now 
we have went to the Death Mountain region where we are going to do the Death Mountain trials for the Champions Ballad DLC. It really goes to show like how useful it is to have you know a f f you know your frame flame breaker armor fully upgraded enough to where you can just walk right through the fire just it invalidates the entire trial because basically you can just walk to the spirit orb well not the spirit orb but the emblem in this case but it's still funny And just like that, like, like the whole shrine was just practically pointless because I, but if you didn't go out of your way to upgrade the armor, then you would have actually had to work it a little bit. But that's something I like about the game is that when you go out of your way to do stuff that you could fairly easily just ignore, then you'll be fine, y you know? Like, it rewards that. Like, I basically just skipped a whole shrine because I went out of my way to upgrade something that I honestly don't use. I don't use the Flamebreaker armor outside of the Death Mountain region and, of course, the boss fight on the Rudania, you know? So it's like, really? <laughs> you know? Like, it's nice that they give you ways to do the shrine if you didn't go out of your way, so that way it didn't become literally impossible, but it's just, it's nice. Like, I like games that do that, where, you know, if you want to do something, they give you ways to do it, even if it is a bit tricky, but if you go out of your way to do something you don't need to do, like, the design of, in this case, the shrine, or whatever, ends up rewarding you in some way, you know, making stuff a thousand times easier, and that's always a nice thing to experience, you know? Like, I very much enjoy that aspect of Breath of the Wild. They do that very well. But then there's me, who's about to make this shrine a thousand times harder because I'm stupid. Just, I'll just let you guys experience this debacle. Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> Me and my misery. <laughs> It's amazing how stupid I am in some of these situations, like honestly.
Yeah, the rest of the shrine is basically just very straightforward. Just go to the spirit or or spirit <sighs> emblem. It's like it's it's the first 120 shrines. It's it's spirit orbs, but then every shrine after that because of the expansion content. Well, actually, no, I take that back. The first 124, because the first four of the Champion's Ballad Shrines are Spirit Orbs as well. So 124 Shrines. But then the other Shrines after that are all just... Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, um, looking back on it now, that was really risky what I'd done, because I feel like that I shouldn't have been able to grab onto that <laughs> the way I did, but oh well. I mean, it worked. Can't complain, right? <laughs> just, just still loving the shrine music. It's just so relaxing, so peaceful. Like, it really is. Another emblem we have gained. One remains. Which, if I remember correctly, is a boss fight related one. So, yeah, I thought so. It's so funny how they're like, we want you to fight like a basically a bigger version of a Talus, and it's like, those guys are the easiest things to kill in the game, arguably. Not to say they can't be annoying at times, but you can say that about anything really, but it's like, come on now. Shrine before we go fight Fire Blight again. <laughs> it's gonna be f well, Fire Blight's still very, very, very easy anyway, so that's not a big deal. But this shrine, I was kind of being an idiot on, <laughs> and, and you'll see in a minute, like, I really was being pretty dumb. <laughs> yeah, I spent too much too much time on this cannon because I saw that up there and I'm like, huh, how do I get that? And I it, it just, I think I speed it up here in a quick second so that way I don't waste too much of your guys' time, but like it yeah, like looking back on it, it's like what in the world? Like, it should have been a lot more obvious than it was. Yeah, cause I'm over here just trying to get my bearings. Like, okay, how do I get to this damn thing?
Yep. Yeah, for some reason, it, in my mind, and this is why I sped it up, is in my mind, I'm thinking for some reason, I need to get one of those walls in there. So that way I can open up a bridge instead of using Magnesis, because I didn't even, yeah. Kind of embarrassing, slightly, but it is what it is. And then this I kept sped up because I am notor notoriously bad, notoriously bad for motion puzzles. I hate motion puzzles with a passion. I hate them so much. I think I have like a mini freak out in terms of just shaking my controller trying to see if I can just get it by sheer luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I got it and I was like, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> We're already almost over with the video? Jeez. It don't feel like 20 minutes. Like seriously, it does not feel like 20 minutes. It feels like five. Like it's weird because sometimes I, you know, I'm not, re you know, I, I'm like, you know what, I'm not in the mood to do post commentary, but it's like I've had it to set for a week. I need to do it, and then I motivate myself to do it, and then I end up having a good enough time to where time feels like it went by so damn fast. It's weird, you know what I mean. And here we are at yet another fight. This fight goes by pretty quick though because his boss fight's actually really easy. I think the one that gave me the most trouble was Water Blight. Water Blight was annoying. Yeah, I think this, I think the second stage is honestly easier than the first stage. Did you just throw a bomb in there when he does this little suction thing like he's doing right now? And then you just, yeah, like, it, like it's, it's surprisingly easy. Oh, I was so close to killing him too. But I got him there. Yeah, Fire Blight is honestly too easy. They might need to give him a buff. <laughs> or Link and Nerf, I don't know, one of the two. <laughs>
another experience with Cass. Sorry for the background noise. Stupid cars and motorcycles and, and the crap. I love Daruk, he's just so funny and cool. But then again, who doesn't like an awesome Goron badass, right? Who doesn't? But now we're in the water area. This, this is the last um, thing that we're going to do in this episode, but I sped it up because... Like, by this point you guys are well aware that I had a surplus of a lot of stuff, especially arrows. Uh, but I walked into this shrine thinking, you know what, I want to see if I can do this on the assumption that the only thing I have is a flame blade. No torch, no flame arrows to make a melt quick, no nothing. Just I, like, I, I was like, you know what, how doable is this while severely limiting myself? Even though I really could have done this, you know, a lot easier, you know? And as you can see, it, it's very doable. It's actually incredibly doable. <laughs> yeah, you do need a running start though, it seems. But yeah, see? Super easy. Um, oh wait, this isn't the last run. I thought it was. Um, but we still got two minutes left. Um... So it's either... I think it's got, it's got to be the next shrine then. Yeah, but the Ruta emblem. The next shrine's probably a quick one. A lot of these um, Champions Battle ones are really quick, actually, so... If you know what you're doing. Yeah, like this one was... Yeah, I sped up, because this one is like incredibly easy. It's... Yeah, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, is obviously I want to go for that treasure chest. So I'm like, all right, well, how do I get to that treasure chest? But that that's also very easy. You just lift that up and try to stasis it as quick as you can. Um, easier said than done, naturally, but there might be a better way to do it that I just couldn't think of involving the other block that I was just standing on, the single block, but oh well, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure a lot of you Zelda experts are like, wow, you took the crappy way to do it, like, idiot, <laughs> but you know? how it is sometimes you know some people just struggle seeing easier solutions that's just that's just the life we live you know <laughs> but anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all on the next one where we uh finish off um we'll come very very close to finishing off champions ballad i will see you in the next video everybody take care